Hi everyone, it's Andrea here and today I'm going to give you my thoughts on Stalking Jack the Ripper by Kerry Maniscalco. I really enjoyed this book, I've got to be honest. Um, he murdered women in cold blood, he terrorised the entire city, he taunted those of us who hunted him down but despite all these horrors in the end I could not die, deny I was a girl who loved the Ripper. So it gives you that sort of thing and you don't tell you any more about it. So the main character is Audrey Rose Wadsworth. So she's a Victorian lady groomed to the very high heights of society. She's not interested. Her mother died and now she wants to, to find out about death. So she's got an interest in forensics. So when uh, her uncle is a coroner, he does autopsies, he researches illnesses, and he gets involved with the Ripper case um, with Polly Nichols, Annie Chapman and so on and she becomes involved that way and she's trying to stalk the Ripper and find out who he is. She has her suspicions as the story goes on and at one point her uncle is one of the, the accused. Now there are real people mentioned in this for instance uh, the Duke of Clarence is, is mentioned you know there's, there's more chance of it being him than somebody else because there was a whole conspiracy theory surrounding the Duke of Clarence. They mentioned Leather Apron. There was a suspect who was called Leather Apron. Um, he, in fact, his name was John Pizer. He wasn't Jack the Ripper, but because he was known as Leather Apron and he was quite, he was known to, to threaten the, the, the prostitutes of the day, he was became a, a, a suspect. He wasn't, and he was, um, you know, he was exonerated. Um, but they bring that up, but they don't talk about John Pizer, they just bring up the character of Leather Apron um, rather than put in too much of the real fact because it would get very confusing. Um, things that were missing from this were obviously the policeman like Abilene is not in here. There is a policeman in here hunting Jack the Ripper, but it's not Abilene. Um, the um, Whitechapel Vigilance Committee is given a different name. It's still in here, but it has got a different name. Th there is no mention of the Goulston Street Graffito, which is something that was happened at the night of the double event. That allegedly, that, well, they were not allegedly, there was writing on the wall in Goulston Street. I've been there myself, where it was. Um, but also allegedly, allegedly a piece of Catherine Eddowes, the, the, fourth, the second victim that night, uh, apron was found there covered in blood and other things because obviously yeah well we won't go into that that wasn't mentioned certain parts of the timeline were changed um for narrative purposes um we did still have the um half a human kidney that was sent to george lusk that was still in there they still had the jack the ripper dear boss letters and they are reproduced in here which was really good <coughs> <clears throat> and there was a lovely twist at the end. I really enjoyed this book. I thought it was very well written. Knowing what I know and I am interested in the Jack the Ripper and the history of Jack the Ripper and all the theories and I like to read the different theories, I thought this was a very very well written and very well executed fictional account of the killings and who the Ripper may well have been because this the, the, the guy who's the Ripper in this there's no reason why it, he couldn't have been. It couldn't have been somebody like that. And so I really, really enjoyed it. And the reasons for the killing made sense. It, it, it did make sense. It makes sense. It gives you a motive that you would not expect. And I really, really enjoyed this book. So if you're into um, historical fiction and you're into unsolved crime, and Jack the Ripper specifically. I would recommend you read this. It's a lovely YA read, easy to read, very good, nice conclusion, ties it all up very, very, very nicely. I really did think that. And the descriptions of the injuries of the women were very, very good, very, very true. Gruesome, very gruesome, because they were, especially the last one, uh, Mary Jane Kenny. I would definitely recommend this book. Absolutely fantastic. And um, this is from somebody who is a ripperologist. I consider myself a ripperologist. I buy and read all the theories. I am very interested in it. I, I, I don't know who did it. I have a, I have my own ideas of where I would lean to. Um, but I just love the way this was executed. Absolutely brilliant. We'll definitely be looking out for more books by Kerry Maniscalco. <clears throat> brilliant writer. This is a debut novel. Excellent debut novel. Loved it. Go get it. It's really good. 
so yes. So that's my views on Stalking Jack the Ripper. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you've read the book and you agree or disagree, let me know down below in the comments. And I will see you soon with some more bookish videos. Happy reading!